Okay, so uh, a while ago someone asked about uh, doing a segment about calories burned and when you're riding a bike and how that fits into counting calories and fitness levels. So first I want to say Cracker Slacker does not care about calories. I don't count them when I'm on the bike. I don't count them when I eat food. Good morning. So I do not care about how much energy I burn or anything like that. I'm out here because I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to be out here for fun. But if you're into that kind of thing, that's totally cool. But I want to explain something about calories and how your body works. Okay, I was reading a mechanical engineering book over the weekend, and I read that your body is only 25% efficient on the calories it put in compared to the energy you get out. So to put this as an example, let's say I had a thousand calorie pancake French toast breakfast, okay? So that's a thousand calories in. And then I go on my morning ride to work, on my bike ride, and I burn a thousand calories. So you may be thinking, they're building a building. You may be thinking that's a net zero right there. A thousand calories for breakfast, a thousand calorie ride, bam, zero. Wrong, okay? Good morning. Your body's only 25% efficient, as the mechanical engineering book says. So, you actually only burn 250 calories of that breakfast. The rest, you burn inside, okay? So you burned existing energy that you had inside. I think that's how it worked, I'm not exactly sure. Essentially, you have to eat a lot to get a lot of energy out. So like on Strava, or if you have a power meter tapped to your bike, then you can see how many joules you, uh, you burn. And joules can be converted to calories quite easily. Big C calories is the same as a joule. So you can see that there. But in general, you have to eat a lot to sustain the natural body to produce energy. So, I hope that helps a little bit. I put some links online to help you more with this. This is a sign! We're going under the tunnel!